Are your failed recipes living on the bottom of your self-cleaning oven still after four months? Stick around and I'll show you the quickest, best, and proper way to clean your self-cleaning oven. Hey everyone, it's Melissa Maker here helping you solve your cleaning conundrums. Here's another cleaning question from one of our subscribers and it's actually Tara 1979 Tara. In the other video I did, I did 1979 Tara 1979. It's the same person but with two great questions. The second of her questions was, hey Melissa, how do I clean my self-cleaning oven properly and how do I get the glass inside the self-cleaning oven clean? This is a great question. As the owner of a cleaning company, I can assure you one of the biggest issues that our clients have are that they're afraid of cleaning their self-cleaning oven. Whoever invented the self-cleaning oven is secretly brilliant. Cleaning the oven is probably one of the most difficult cleaning tasks we have to face in the kitchen. So the fact that we have an appliance that cleans itself it's freaking awesome. The problem is a lot of people are scared of how to do it because it gets really hot and it smells and smoke comes out. So let me tell you the right way to clean it. What I always recommend is to start with the manufacturer's instructions. Samsung's manual is like the size of a phone book. Once you get yourself acquainted with these instructions, you'll be able to do this job and it won't be so scary. If you don't have the manual, go on the Google. Now sometimes people say, why can't I just clean my oven by hand? Well, if you wanted to do that, you should have saved the thousand dollars and bought a non-self cleaning oven. The reason we don't want to clean a self cleaning oven by hand is because there's a coating called a pyrolytic coating on the inside of your self cleaning oven that allows it to self clean. It'll actually remove that coating and that coating is a fortune. So preserve it and do it properly. Now there's nothing wrong with cleaning your self cleaning oven between self clean cycles so long as you're using the proper tools. So something like a soft cloth or the soft side of a sponge with a little bit of soap is no problem. But something scratchy and abrasive like an abrasive cleanser, a steel wool pad or a razor blade would actually ruin that pyrolytic coating so we don't want to do that. The first thing we'll do is talk about some general you gotta do this before you self clean the oven tips. Ventilate your space. What you'll do is turn on your overhead fan. I'm not gonna turn it on because mine sounds like a tornado. You're gonna open your windows and if you have any pets, especially birds, you wanna move them far away from the kitchen. Couple reasons why we wanna do this. First, the pets. Uh, if they inhale the smoke, it can actually be really bad for them and in some cases birds have died from this. The second reason we want to ventilate is because the smoke can linger in your house, set off your smoke alarm and stick to your wall. The next thing you want to do is remove everything. You got to strip your oven naked. Now that includes the warming drawer, your oven racks. Now some people say, well why can't you just leave them in the oven? It's a great question. Nothing terrible will happen to them but that shiny metallic coating will actually become dull and that will make it harder to pull the racks in and out. Those can easily be cleaned in a sink with a soft sponge, a little bit of baking soda and some dishwashing liquid. And if they're really bad, you can soak them in a bathtub. And the final precaution we'll want to take before setting our self-clean cycle is to remove any food that we possibly can from the bottom or the sides of the oven. So you can either do this by hand or you can use a cleaning tool like this scraper. And this is a non-scratching scraper, of course. The reason we want to do that is because the food stuck at the bottom, if it can be removed, it should be removed. It will make for an easier self-clean cycle. So what happens during a self-clean cycle? How does this oven magically clean itself? Well, quite simply, it heats up to 900 to 1000 degrees. So obviously make sure you don't touch it. Essentially what happens is anything inside the oven turns into a gray white kind of ash. Almost like what you would get at the end of a campfire or something. When you're finished, you'll take a damp cloth and you'll just wipe it out top to bottom, make sure you get the sides and keep rinsing and wringing out the cloth until the inside of the oven is clean. Then you put your clean racks back in and your oven is good to go. How long will this whole process take? About three to four hours. So just be prepared. A great feature that all self-clean ovens come with is a self-lock function. The oven will lock and will not open again until the self-clean function finishes. 
This is for your own protection, so don't think that something really weird is happening to your oven. If you hear a loud click and the door won't open anymore, your oven's doing the right thing. Upon completion of your self-clean cycle, if you notice that the glass panel on the inside of your oven door is still dirty, what you can do is sprinkle a little bit of baking soda and then spray some water on top of it to form a little bit of a paste. Let that baking soda sit. If it's really bad, you can even let it sit overnight. And then in the morning, just take a soft cloth and wipe off the baking soda. That paste should help remove any of the other buildup grease or grime that you'll see on the oven door. Now be careful not to put too much water because if you'll notice in the window where the self-clean oven is, if water gets past that barrier, you'll see those forever drip marks. Tara, thanks so much for the question. I hope it helped you and I know it'll help a lot of other people too. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any cleaning questions or comments about this video, you can drop it in the box below. You can also find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash cleanmyspace. And for more cleaning videos, hit the button above to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Now, if only there was a self-cleaning bathroom, I'd be thrilled.